Hi all, I want to show you a new demo of Tegra 3, our new quad-core mobile processor, codenamed Kal-El. This demo is of an additional level of the game we showed earlier called Global, but this level is all underwater. Be sure to check out the demo if you haven't seen it. In this demo, I plan to show you some of the new GPU horsepower built into Tegra 3. I'm also happy to say this demo is running on a production Tegra 3 device, the new ASUS Transformer Prime. Today we're running with the honeycomb version of Android. Soon you'll see this on the ice cream sandwich version of Android. As in the original global demo, here we are using true dynamic lighting. With the performance of Tegra 3, this is the first time this is really feasible on a mobile device. There are some other cool things we're doing in this scene. One is called caustics. These are the patterns that you see on the bottom of a swimming pool, or in our case, the sea floor, as sunlight is refracted through the wavy surfaces of the water. The other technique is the use of fog to simulate murkiness. You'll note that objects distant from our eye seem to disappear into a dark blue murkiness. This is simulated by adding a blue fog to all of the objects as they're drawn. The further they are from the eye, the more they're in the fog. Now let me show you what this would look like on earlier mobile devices. We have a cool split screen mode. In this mode, you can see it's just not as immersive or realistic as a Tegra 3 version. You don't have lighting, particles, you don't have the glow. All these dynamic lighting techniques bring more life, realism, and a sense of interactivity to the environment. Let's go back to the Tegra 3 version. The other thing going on is the bubbles, seaweed, and other particles in the scene. As you tilt the tablet, gravity also changes and the seaweed responds to the change in gravity. The water and everything else in the scene is being fully simulated using all four cores of Tegra 3. So as the ball rolls around and the gravity is shifted, the scene and environment responds the way you'd expect it to. It's completely fluid. As you can see, this demo goes beyond the original global level in raising the bar for graphics on a mobile device. In addition to the roughly 300 simulated kelp plants, there are over 1,400 other moving plants scattered across the seafloor. Add in the schooling fish with the reflective scales and the rest of the animal life, and this level's geometry measures nearly 2 million triangles, all beautifully rendered to a rippling distortion effect, which makes this into a really amazing game. So let me tell you a little bit more about that. The point of this level is to gather up the keys that are hidden in treasure chests along the route of the maze. Once you collect four of them, you can open the locks on the ship's cargo hold and make your escape. Here is a key that you just see there, and you would collect that and move on to the cargo hold. Owners of Tegra 3 devices will be able to download the game from the Android market, and in several cases the game will come pre-installed on the device. And that's Global. It leverages all four CPU cores and the new GPU built into Tegra 3 to bring next generation gaming to mobile devices.